back to another video by me, Yolanda Mumalo, Yolanda Langa, Yandi Langa. Um, so for those who know me, my name is Yolanda Wagamumalo Wagalanga, whichever one you might prefer, neither is wrong. Um, and for my returning subscribers, what I do, my loves, thank you again for clicking on this video. And as you can see today, we're definitely doing a makeup um updated makeup uh, routine it's not a tutorial it's a routine how i do my makeup how my makeup is basically different from now till from then till now today i can't speak i don't know what's happening with me Ciao. anyway so if you would like to see how i achieved this look and um see what products i use to achieve this look please continue watching remember to smash the, that subscribe button the notification bell as well so you know when your girl is dropping another video so without further or more or whatever i can't really speak today i don't know what's happening but let's get into the video i don't want to rumble too much so loves, today um, as you've seen down below we are doing an updated makeup tutorial and yeah so let's get started. So the first thought I, I used want... two brow pens. I used this one. I don't know if you can see that from Catrice and I use this one from Sobe and they are both in the dark brown and to clean up all the mess you know my favorite i used my maybelline concealer in the shade 35 and on top i used my foundation so without further rambling now we're gonna hydrate my skin and prime and with that i'm using my hydro plump serum from catrice and i'm just gonna take a few plums like here and there obviously so not too much but this is for like people with dry skin because i've got very dry skin if i look down my mirror is down over here so do <laughs> something very simple and i don't want this video to be really long so yeah and i think for the parts that i don't really talk that much i'm just gonna speed it up because this is an updated routine just showing you guys how i do my makeup now the products that I use because obviously my makeup has changed and I have noticed that as well. So yes, I'm going to go soul. on to my contour highlight and bronze palette. Uh, yeah, I think it's a palette or whatever they call it. I don't know. And I'm going to take the shade here. That's like the darkest. And I'm just going to go over the orange there. Or like put it more onto the crease. All right, and we're done. There are the eyes. We're done. Okay, so now moving on to foundation. I'm using the MAC in the shade NC47. Yeah, in the shade NC47. So this foundation is really good. I have to say this foundation is like literally the best. I love it. I'm in love and I don't think I'll ever like go to another foundation. But the only thing that's a bummer with it is that it doesn't have a pump. And every time now I want to apply it to my face, I have to, you know, put it on my hand. So, like that. 
and if i don't use all of that then i have to like take a brush and try and scoop it back in which is like kind of a mission because i don't get all of it back in there but yeah guys forgive my brushes they're dirty so I, um yeah i have to wash them i know i know i know hygiene i know guys my skin is really acting up so yeah actually if it were entirely up to me i wouldn't even be doing makeup but because i'm working and i do consider um youtube as my work like i have to and yeah unfortunately for me for right now my work needs me to be doing makeup right right so i'm gonna take a fluffy brush foundation brush and just do that <laughs> like an eyebrow tutorial or whatever just let me know but you know i just run away from doing my eyebrows on camera because i really take um a very long time simply because of the concentration and i can't even talk while i'm doing my eyebrows because you know i have to be extra concentrated so now to set my foundation i'm gonna go in with my loose powder from yardley uh caramelized that's the shade so i think i even took like the wrong shade basically i wasn't supposed to take caramel um i think i was supposed to go with the white one because my skin is i don't know it's, i don't know and this one just makes me look orange so i try to use as little as possible even when i'm setting my concealer so yeah <laughs> so yeah so now for my highlight i'm gonna go in with my fit me concealer in the shade 35 the same one that i used for my um eyebrows and fit me it's almost finished it's in the shade 10 this one is a much more brighter one so that i use for my nose and where i want like an extremely bright highlight can you see that that's totally light so and then i dab this just here i need to go get another one it's almost finished I'm gonna go in with my fit me concealer in the shade 55 for my contour so this is my cream contour and we're gonna put that there <laughs> gonna go in with an angled brush this is my contour so obviously you start with your contour first while you're allowing your highlight to like get tacky and you know how you want it to be so you always blend inwards right <laughs>
and we're gonna go underneath the contour i'm not sure if you can see it but yeah just a bit tired there we go as my son would say So we don't drag it all the way down just to create that you know okay so now i'm gonna go in with my loose powder again and now we are setting um yeah we are set oh no i'm gonna go in with my contour brush and basically just hide any harsh lines that I've created. So this is one of my fluffy brushes and set. I for one do not bake. take my beauty sponge and obviously set that that's the only place that I leave powder probably for like five seconds or something because I want the definition I mean I'm gonna take a flat brush and then start blending out our nose highlight not happening so i'm gonna go in with my sponge and go you know what i mean oh, done and tiny flat brush i use this brush for <laughs> for almost everything that comes to my nose because it is small and it's just perfect and my nose we're gonna bake so we have that snatched highlight you get me okay and then we're gonna go into this contour palette again take our brush we're gonna go in with the lightest one and underneath the eyes concealer in the shade 55 that i use to contour the rest of my face and i add a bit just down on each side of my nose and then we take an angled brush and basically just blend that in there Quite 
point for baby <laughs> sorry guys getting over myself here um okay so i'm thinking all right so we're gonna use the all matte catrice powder and this is basically it just sums everything up for me and i'm gonna use that i'm gonna take another brush just a fluffy brush and use that on my highlights again okay. and then now we're gonna set that contour baby and i just swap and change between these two sometimes i just use them both it depends what mood i'm feeling it doesn't really make a difference <laughs> so we're gonna start from there <laughs> smaller angled brush and basically set my nose contour drag all the way to your eyebrows guys can you see that that's what you want you want to show that your nose is elongated and you're gonna go into my powder brush this one and Okay. that's the same highlight that i used for my under eyes and all the places that i used my concealer so i mean who is this babe <laughs> is my maybelline um contour uh, color highlighting kit and blush or whatever it's called that go in with my highlight and that's shimmer i don't know i put it at click so i don't know job drugstore products we're gonna go in with the feather brush and no just a little guys i get carried away with popping my lip my chin The same brush that I use for my highlights and whatever. And we're going to take that and put it there on my eyebrows. My brow bone. Near my nose. The tip of my nose. Go in Excellent. with my brow. Oh, sorry, guys, so dirty. Um, my brow liner from Sobe and just line my eyes. Sorry, guys, my eyes get really watery. Okay, and that's it. And line my lips with the same liner. right i do like to wear nude so this is my lipstick from maybelline in the color 05 loyalist 
Maybelline should really consider sponsoring me. Considering that I, I have like red hair, I don't want something. Sometimes I do wear it with red lipstick. It looks amazing, but today I've just opted for nude. Perfect. And it is matte. Okay, it's matte, 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 matte. So I'm gonna remove this quickly. I haven't done any baby hairs and literally my hair was like in a clip because I wanted to be like a messy but chic look but hey you know what sometimes it doesn't work in your favor but yeah I just wanted that happening down there since I am wearing a tracksuit today so something comfortable and gloomy for the weather yeah i'm trying to go with this look yeah okay so i'm just going to take my contour brush and just brush there usually i use a mac setting spray but i broke the bottle and i had to put it in this tiny little bottle it's finished now um i swear i'm gonna go get it as soon as i can i've just been really busy so we're gonna go in with that I'm literally using the last bits, but it works. It works, it works. <laughs> Sorry guys, I told you I'm in with my Maybelline Big Shot Glossal Mascara which I love because it just elongates my lashes and it makes me look like the babe that I think I am, so. That's it. Now I'm going to go in with my liquid liner from Wet n Wild and just create all my beauty spots that I normally have, which don't show now. So And then this one, I just bring it down because I do have a beauty spot there, but my wig is hiding it. So, ciao. So I'm going to take this rounded thingy which I use to put highlighter in the corner of my eyes. Okay, my love, so that is the final look and I hope you seriously enjoyed this video. I try to make it as quick as possible and please do not forget to subscribe, comment. You know I like the comments. Comment, like, hit the notification bell, just for you to know when your girl posts another video, my babes. So without further ado, and with that said, lots of love for me to you, you know, we family. Let's help grow and grow this um, channel together and do share more ideas that you definitely want me to do. Or if you want me to do a certain makeup look, something that you would like to see or hair installation or whatever, you do let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys and Bye.